Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my NAMI fountain pen collection. So I have these three different NAMI fountain pens and each of them is different and serves different purpose. So um, I first got into NAMI fountain pens when I was traveling in Europe and I saw the NAMI fountain pens everywhere in their stationery stores so I was very curious because of the design and the look so I tried out some of them in store and I was mostly drawn to this one, the NAMI Safari fountain pen. So I purchased this one in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. This is my first NAMI pen and it is, um, I don't know if you can see here, it is a fine lip. You can see an F here. So this one is really good for writing because it's really fine. The lines are really fine. So I use this one mainly for writing in my journal. I really love it. And one day because I carry it when I'm out as well. So sometimes I will like go out and write outside. I will bring my journals out and I like to write outside. I brought it with me and I couldn't find it after I came home so I thought I lost this one so because I thought I lost this one I bought another one I bought this one so this is also a Nami Safari pen but it is a special edition it is the spring 2019 edition so you can see this beautiful light blue color I really love it and because I, you know, I was thinking that, okay, I probably lost the first one, but in case it ever showed up again, um, then I will have two same type of fountain pen, which to me, I don't want to have the two exact same pen. So when I was buying this one online, I chose a different lip. So this one, I don't know if you can see here, it's actually a medium nib. So, um, so the first one is a fine nib and this one is a medium nib. So I just want to see like the difference between them. Not long after I bought this pen online, I found this first one. It was under my mattress. I have no idea how it ended up there. But I was so happy because I got this one in Amsterdam while I was traveling and it was my first Nomi pen and I love this color, the yellow color so so much is my favorite color. So I'm really happy I got it back because this is really special to me. These two, I use them both for uh, journaling and just writing in general. And I want to share with you this one which is a little bit different. It's still the same brand NAMI, but it is a uh, NAMI Joy, which is a calligraphy fountain pen. So this is a 1.1 millimeter calligraphy pen, and it came with a lip like this, but I end up didn't like it because I wanted to have a broader, stroke i really love how light i when i hold it feels really natural so i want to use this pen to sketch and to draw in my sketchbook so that's why i swapped this original nib and then i bought a broad nib which is this one that's currently in the pen as you can see that i have three different types of lamy pen each of them has a different lip. So as you can see, this one, it has a converter, which I bought it afterwards. It, 
it didn't come with a converter, but I bought it because I want to use my own ink. When you buy it from the store or anywhere online, the pen comes with ink. So the Lamy fountain pens come with this type of cartridge. So you can see this one is a blue one. So it looks like this. It's a pre-fill, so it pre-fill with inks inside and that you just kind of press press it in and then you can start using it so this is uh, like a only one time use like a disposable cartridge which i didn't really like it because you know i am someone that's really um, eco-friendly so i have been trying to be more sustainable and eco-friendly in the long term. Also, another dis disadvantage of this pre-filled cartridge is it's not waterproof. And I'm looking for inks that's waterproof because I want to use, you know, in my comics, in my sketches, and I will need to paint watercolor on top of the ink. So I, it's really important to me to um, have the ink to be waterproof. That's why I purchased this fountain pen converter. So this converter is specially designed for Lamy pen and it's not very expensive. It's like $5. And this one, I really like it because uh, you can refill inks with this. I will show you later how to refill this. So this is that. And then for this one, I also have a converter. So this is a, a different type of converter, but they're all the same. It just is a different, I think it's like a different style, but this is also a NAMI converter, which is specially designed for NAMI fountain pens. And yeah, so this one is also filled with my own inks rather than, you know, the cartridges. Now I want to introduce you some of the different inks I have. So I bought this ink first. So this is a uh, Nami ink. It's the same brand as the fountain pen. So this is a Nami blue P52 ink bottle. That's 50 ml. Um, it's a very interesting design because it looks big, but actually only only this part is ink, and this part it actually has this um, paper that. It's really hard to pull right now, but you can pull out this paper and then use this to wipe your fountain pen after after you refill it. Really convenient. And I think in the back, it has a special design that the bottle, it kind of like, it has this um, like a round bottom that when you pull your pen, into the bottle it go directly to the bottom so it's easier to refill that way if that makes sense um, and this one I bought it for my Lamy Joy because I want to have a waterproof ink to draw in my comic I did some research and I found this brand Noodleless ink and this one is called Noodleless Feather Black. So it is a uh, pure black. I originally ordered another one from the same brand. They have many many different colors and like even black one they have so many different type of black ink. So originally I bought the Eild black ink because it has good review. But when I try it, it was not a pure black to me. And I want a pure black in my comic. So that's why I, I returned the other one and I bought this one instead. And this one 
came out really really black like a pure black and and it's bulletproof i believe that means night fast or something but anyways this ink is really good for drawings and painting if you want to use in your sketchbook and i just got these inks online look how cute this box is it's like a gift box it is um, a japanese ink gift set um, produced by pilot and they have like three mini bottles of different color ink i just love how little these inks are and how pretty the color looks i don't know if you can see here but i think this one is uh, like a blue color and this is more like a pale color and this is like a dark red and they all have different names which i really like because i can read because i'm chinese i can read these characters I just love you know how they name different inks this one called like sunrise this one is the deep sea and this one is um the grapes i haven't used them yet i just bought them and i've been kind of saving them maybe i will open them today with you guys and show you how they look so i also want to say that these three type of inks only this one is is water resistance and these two are not um which is kind of a bummer but i'm not super um concerned about that because i'm planning to use these two just for my journals so it's just for writing and I'm not going to um, put any water on top of them so it's fine and this one I'm because I'm using for my drawings and sketches so it has to be water water resistance so only this one is water resistant yeah it would be nice if this one is too because I love the color but I found that um, I think the beautiful color ones are usually not water resistance. I don't know why, but like the ones that has really pretty color inks, they are not water resistance. So I'm just going to show you a little demo on how these three different fountain pen write. And I think I'm going to kind of write in my notebook. So let's start with this one. This Nomi Safari with the fine lip and this one is pre-filled with the um, blue ink from this bottle just going to write a simple word and then this one, this Nami Safari pen with the original cartridge, which is also a blue cartridge. And this one is um, Nami Safari with a medium nib. This one is Lamy Joy with a broad nib. And this one is filled with this black water resistant ink. Um, 
uh, there's not much difference between the fine lip and the medium lip. I find them very, very similar. I can't even tell like the difference like in terms of the stroke. But the broad lip is definitely broader. And in terms of the inks, the first two are both Lamy blue inks from Lamy, but one is from a bottle and one is from a prefill cartridge. You can see the difference between these three. The first sentence with the ink from the bottle is really dark and it has this really consistent dark blue and the second one that um, comes from the cartridge is it's less consistent the blue is less consistent it's more like watery if that makes sense so definitely i feel like i like the one from the bottle better because it's darker and it's more consistent and this one with the black ink is really black and the stroke is broader and i can show you an example this is my comic sketchbook oh you can see here actually i did this drawing with a different type of uh, ink so the outline here the black outline here is from the previous black noodlers ink I mentioned that's less black I don't know if you can see here um, it is black but it's more like a grayish black so the line here are not pure black I'm really sensitive to the color because I've been using black ink pen for a long time so you can see here I think this one I used the new uh, the new black ink as you can see is much darker much darker here and like here you can see the lines it's pretty black like if you compare this one to the one before you can really see the difference like how different they are I also used the lighter black ink with a Lamy fine lip so when I first got the black noodlers ink I was using it in my Lamy fine lip fountain pen so this is how it looks in this pen so you can see the line is really thin and the one later like this one is from Lamy Joy the one with the broad nib you can see it's much thicker the line so this line looks more natural to me in terms of the weight because I used to uh, draw all my comics just with a regular I think a regular ink pen like the one that's non-refillable so I was trying to kind of mimic the same weight and same blackness from that pen and I'm pretty happy about how like this combo right now turned out to be because it's definitely more eco-friendly to me and that's very important and it just also saves a lot of money when you use a refillable ink okay now i'm trying to clean this Lamy fountain pen because i want to have a clean an empty converter to use the new inks I just purchased so as you can see here I'm trying to clean out all the old inks from before now I think the converter is pretty clean as you can see 
here is empty and clean inside so let's try to fill it up with some of the new inks we purchased first let's try to make sure there's no extra inks in the converter so yeah now we are good we are good to go okay so now let's look at these beautiful inks we have I can only try one because I only have one available converter right now so I think I'm going to go with this one the Shinkai I think it's really beautiful it has this like dark turquoise color so yeah I think I'm going to try this one first and I'm really excited again you just twist off the body and then you don't have to take the converter out just keep it in and let's open the bottle it's brand new so here we are going to try to twist the plunger like you can see we can twist it and we are going to try to twist it all the way down so we want to have enough space to hold all the inks from the ink bottle okay, and now let's dip in and then once we are in we are going to twist back the plunger to pull all the inks up Yeah, uh, as you can see here, the ink tank is full right now. And then since it's full now, we want to put this back. And I'm excited. Let's try and see how this color looks. Okay, now I'm going to write a new sentence below this the ink came out right away which is really nice yeah it is uh, a dark blue which is a little bit darker than I expected but I think it's still really nice yeah as you can see here the the inks um, as you can see here the color is pretty consistent from the ink bottle Yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice to have a different kind of to have a different color to write in my journal. You know, sometimes I like to change it up a little bit just to have a fresh star and have a new mood just drawing some random flowers here because I feel like it so the the fine lip is actually also nice to draw as well the weight of the nine 
it's pretty nice but it's just to me um, compared to the bra lip I use for my comics this feels a little bit thin just for my comic because I use it as a foundation so I want something that's really recognizable but you can totally just use this one for drawing and sketching as well so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it's helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below in the comment section I will see you next time bye